Hi, Pisces. It's Abby. Welcome to your reading. Um, this is going to be your weekly check-in for September 2nd to the 8th. Okay, so to see what might be up in the energies for the Pisces Collective out there. This is Rogue Pisces Tarot. So this is a Pisces exclusive channel. All I look at is Pisces stuff. It doesn't matter what Pisces placement you are, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you're interested in the Pisces energy that might be affecting you, um, I'm glad you decided to click and check in. Okay, everybody's welcome. It's all good. Cross watchers, I don't care. You're going to do what you're going to do anyway, right? <laughs> so if you're here, you're welcome. I really appreciate all the love and support you guys have. So start of the week. Um, we have two of cups, the hangman, the three of swords. Um, for some of you, there is a work project or something that you really, really love and care about that you might be experiencing a little bit of a delay in. Okay, I'm going to take a look at this three of swords. Pisces, this could just be you, okay, um, being maybe a little tough on yourself, <laughs> maybe kind of like looking at things a little um, in a way that's from kind of a triggered place that's kind of underneath things. Um, for some of you, this looks like we have the Two of Cups to the Page of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles. So this is looking to me like learning about the things that you love, paying attention to those things leads you to some very good success by the end of the week. Some things that are more solid and more tangible, okay? So it's like your feelings are coming up um, and that's very important, but then it's like you're going into more of a learning mode here. What's this two of cups about a little bit more here, the fool? Some of you might be, there could be an Aries person involved in this. The fool tends to ring Aries for me. Um, if it's not love, romance, or friendship, um, business partnerships, those kinds of things, there could be a an opportunity for you to take a chance or a, a deep dive, <laughs> a, a swan dive, a trust dive um, for something that you love, something or someone that you really love and care about. Um, yeah, so this can be, like I said, it doesn't have to be a person or romance in particular if that's not what you're looking for. The Two of Cups can symbolize like work that we really love um, or... Uh, projects that we really love, a mode of being, a mode of study, like something that really like makes you feel like it's just the best match for you. With the hanged man, I didn't get to lay about what though. Hmm. With the king of swords. Some of you are, um, could be finding yourself in a very mental space this week. Okay. With the, I mean, September 2nd, we have a, I believe it's a new moon in Virgo, okay? So you could be shifting your thoughts to a more, even though I know that swords is air sign, whatever, um, but it's a very exacting kind of energy. So you could be finding yourself down in the details of things, really kind of examining them. And it's like you're seeing a few things in a new light. You're seeing them a little bit differently than you had before, okay? And... <clears throat> deciding what you want to take a risk on here it feels like what's this three of swords ah the magician okay there for some of you you could be mourning a manifestation um this feels like there could be something that you were trying to pull in and it didn't work out the way you wanted or you did get what you wanted you you got what you asked for but it came to you in a way that was like maybe a little off, like it wasn't exactly like how you would have wanted to get it. Okay. Interesting. Some of you could also have a disappointment or an upsetting conversation with somebody who is a, it's either about somebody who's kind of a smooth talker, or it's with somebody who you can tell with the way that they speak to you, that they are trying to get you to see things from their point of view rather than having a, like an exchange and a back and forth, okay? So this is a little bit of a, I wanna say a little manipulative, some of you. It's not for everybody, obviously, don't be getting paranoid and all weird, um, but I feel like it came up for a couple of you just so that you can be forewarned. Um, yeah, just be forewarned. I don't think you really have to worry about it all that much because a lot of the rest of the stuff here is very good, okay? I mean, the sun is right in the middle of your spread. And in this kind of 
spread the sort of nine card configuration, the sun, <laughs> the middle card is the most powerful one. Um, it is the main theme of the whole thing. So your, your happiness, feeling really free, really truthful, like you, you, you're exactly who you need to be and exactly where you are for some kind of reason. Um, and it's like, there's a lot of truth. There's a lot of honesty in the Rider Waite Smith deck. There's a, like a, a naked baby on a horse and it kind of symbolizes you being like just innocent and exactly yourself. Like the way that little kids can just be so happy without all of like the burdens of the world and without all of the other people's opinions and all this other stuff that we learned and picked up along the way. Um, so that sort of sense there could be a part of you that is trying to figure out how to get back to that, or you're having glimpses of that in your life, right? Where you're just like having moments of feeling very free and um, very like, no, this is just who I am. Like I'm not, I'm not censoring things for anybody. With the Page of Swords, you have the King of Pentacles. You could have an Earth sign person, a Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn person, also perhaps a young. Um, a young person, like an air sign type person. So this is sort of a, who are of some kind of importance or are on your mind right now. So if say you're married and you have a, an earth sign spouse or someone who's like very earthy kind of spouse and then a kid who's sort of very airy, <laughs> could be that kind of thing. Um, or other family members, people that you encounter this week that are just kind of on your mind, okay? For others, there is something that you are looking to learn. You are getting messages or information from the people around you. And it is about someone that you know who's very financially stable. Now, this could be, it could manifest in ways like you finding a mentor, right? There could be someone that you are realizing is really good at business or is really good at saving and investing. Um, really good at stability, home, family, those kinds of things. And you're getting very curious about them, whether that's in, it could be for some of you, it depends on what you're looking for, right? It could be romantic, it could be professional, it could be entrepreneurial, whatever that is. But there's um, something that you're kind of catching on the wind here and you're deciding to learn more about. With the Sun, Eight of Wands, these two cards mean travel to me. So some of you travel is going to be very important. The sun can mean like a vacation going to a sunny or a warm destination and the eight of wands can mean quick movement or travel. Okay. So that's the first thing that pops to mind. So it could be that you're planning a vacation. You come home from a vacation. Maybe you are remembering a vacation that you had and the way that you felt coming home and, and just being like, oh man, I just so felt like, remember how refreshed and good and just sort of like reset I felt after that trip or after that like maybe it's a day trip or road trip it doesn't have to be a huge um extravagant kind of thing but it's like you go outside of your comfort zone you move in some kind of way and it helps you to reset um your energy so it's either something you're remembering or something that you're partaking in some of you might be taking yourself out on like a date this week almost <laughs> like this is a week that you may have decided that this week instead of sitting at home and like you know maybe ordering in food or picking up dinner on the way home or doing whatever this week instead you're going to go sit in a cafe and have like you know even if it's a, a little you're spending five dollars on something you're just going to take yourself out somewhere um seeing you being a little bit more social in a way you don't have to necessarily interact with people but it's like being out and among people being very important and I feel like part of that is because Five of Pentacles is underneath you, which is sort of like a subconscious thing. Some of you may have had some, um, maybe some financial issues. I would say like watch, watch your finances. It's a good time to be careful with it. Um, you don't have to be paranoid. It doesn't mean you don't do anything at all, but it's maybe there are some things that you are reevaluating and trying to figure out how to feel more free with. There's a way to free yourself from this. There are answers to whatever it is that's troubling you with this underneath the surface. It's just a matter of being able to sort of pick up that key, pick up the perspective that you need. So I think that's probably why you need a little bit of an energetic reset this week. Ah, see? Five of Pentacles and the Devil. Like, 
that's why. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> like, if you're like, well, why would I be feeling, why do I have this funny, you know, nagging feeling like deep down that I'm not really sure if anything's ever going to work out and it's all weird because devil energy's around, right? Um, could be a Capricorn person for some of you, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah, this feels more like it's something that you're kind of aware of on a low level. Like you think it's a small detail or a small thing about the way that you think or feel or the way that you look at your money or look at your abundance or um, look at your day-to-day -day living, okay, with pentacles. And it's it's something that needs to change and needs to turn about. It feels like a small mundane thing, but you might not be realizing that it actually has a bit of a deeper, a deep, deeper meaning, <laughs> okay? And this week, it feels like because this sense of freedom, you're like, man, I want that back. <laughs> I want that back and I'm going to take it at every opportunity that I can. There's something here for you to perhaps confront, but it feels like you're very successful over it. Eight of Wands is also a very successful card. Now, it doesn't surprise me very much that temperance comes right after this, right? Sagittarius energy, perhaps, but it's that card of like inspiration and healing of for me, this can also be a card of recovery, um, recovery from lots of different things, especially overindulgence, okay? When whatever thing you may like to overindulge in. So if that energy comes up for you sort of midweek, by the end of the week, you're like, mm, you know, you're, you're kind of over it. Um, you've probably resisted whatever temptations have come your way. And even if you haven't, um, it feels like you have, you've learned some things from this. You've, you've, you've had some sort of mental shifts about where that is really coming from and why it's really happening, which is pretty important and really nice to see actually. With this 10 of pentacles, the queen of cups and temperance, this is queen of cups feels like you, whether you're male, female, doesn't matter. Otherwise who cares? But this feels like Pisces energy to me. It feels very like you're dreaming and calling in all of these ways that you can have all of the success and abundance that you want, right? It's just this very like very intuitive energy. So you're letting yourself feel the big feelings. And 10 of pentacles keeps coming up for you, Pisces. You've been getting 10 of pentacles a lot. So for some of you, you're sort of your financial space in in life is very important to you right now okay so you could be doing a lot of strategizing a lot of learning a lot of sort of brick laying right um i don't know if you've ever seen the what is it i think it's a will smith thing i'm not i'm not always a huge will smith stand but i do remember seeing an interview several interviews he tends to say this thing about how you don't have to build a whole wall in a day but you can lay one brick really well right? So if you just try to lay that brick, you know, one brick a day, and you lay that brick as well as you can on that day, before you know it, you'll have a wall, right? So this feels like it's a something that you it is a big project, it is something that is um, very, a very abundant kind of energy. So for some that can mean money, others, it means family, um, it can mean your community. Fam like legacy, the things that you're passing down, a body of work even, okay? So this is something huge that you're leaving behind. And that is something that you may be learning from this Ten of Pentacles type person, especially if you're taking a leap on something that you really like and you really care about. Let's see what else might be here. Yeah, uh, Page of Cups. You need to pay attention to your dreams. There could be love could be a message of love or from someone that you care about, okay? Um, love, remember, is not just romantic. Love is also something that we share with our friends and our family members, um, sometimes our coworkers. Like, you know, it's, it's people that we care about, people who become dear to us um, that we would be sad to lose, right? So um, you could be getting a message from someone Especially if that person appears in your dreams, it can be of a lot of significance. So if that happens, pay attention to it this week. Try to write down, maybe keep some paper or your phone, your notes app, whatever it is. I know sometimes I like will have a weird dream and then I'll roll over and I have a voice recorder and I'll just sit there and ramble everything that I can remember from my dream <laughs> into my phone. Um, and then I can listen to it later because it, they fade so fast, right? Like 
especially if you wake up and you're like, what the hell is that? Like, it feels like there's a, an interesting message somewhere in your dreams and it could be happening through the appearance of someone that you care about, especially with the queen of cups. We have the empress. Oh, that's so cute. So this feels like your self-worth and self-value is something that you are intuitively tuning into. Um, the Empress is a card of abundance. It's nature. It's being provided for. I really like this Taurus energy here too. For some, it's like a very caring, compassionate person who may have, you could be embodying this Empress energy or feeling your way into this Empress energy. Um, it's also... What do you call it? One book I have talks about how the Empress is the beginning, the creation of things, and that the Emperor is sort of like the conclusion and the establishment of things, right? So this feels like you are really starting something, especially with this energy of the Fool. And it's something that looks like it wants to move pretty quickly. But you are feeling your way through it, right? You're, you're letting your intuition guide you which I really like here. Some of you, Temperance and the Knight of Swords. A few of you are trying very hard to heal yourself from all or nothing mentality. <laughs> that is a big deal. You could have an air sign person um, who's influential in this way, okay? This could be someone that you look at who goes like, well, if you don't like where you are, change something, right? Um, who did I see the other day? Someone said something like, nothing changes if nothing changes, right? So this is like you're influenced, you're finding some kind of um, kernel of truth or, um, oh yeah, because see, yeah, you've had a lot of transformation going on here with the death at the bottom of the deck. There's someone that around you who you, you may feel like you get a little hit of their healing kind of energy, and it's because they're the sort of person that when they see the thing, they go after the target. And that is very like influential and helpful to you today or for this week. Okay. Let me see here. I want to do tea leaves because <laughs> I sometimes pull these for myself for the week. So I'm just going to pull out seven in a row. Of course, they may or may not ring for you. It's a general reading, right? But just to see what the week may hold. And they may not go in exact order for you. You could experience these things, but in a different order or a different sequence also. But I'm just going to call them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday as we go. Okay. We have Monday. Desk. Pay attention to your work. <laughs> yeah. There's something work-oriented, a good day to focus on your work. Pay attention to things that you do and the details. Tuesday, we have Stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Wednesday, ear, some good news that you're hearing. I mean, I, I could just sit here and say confirmations, right? But I mean, I've been at this for a while, so why... Why, why go into, you know, whatever. You're still here. If you're, you've been here for a while, you know how it goes. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling good today. It's, it's nice. Pin a new job or a new career. See, I was like a mentor. There's something, there's some kind of shift here for some of you. It's really interesting. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. Okay, so test of will possibly here, right? With this sort of devil energy. Where I was like, there is a little bit of an influence here. Um, so this could be like, you may realize that someone's trying to manipulate you into something or trying to get you to agree to something um, without maybe taking the best, like the steps that you need to take. So for there's a couple of you, like a couple of things just started to pop into my head. So things like, say you're at work and they want you to sign a new employment contract and they're just sort of like talking a bunch and sort of distracting you and you're not you're kind of overwhelmed because you're worried about what the contract says but you know what i mean like they're just sort of like well you just have to sign it and if you don't sign it you don't get this or you don't get that and then we do this and there's nothing to worry about it's all whatever and um you realize that you're just kind of being like they're trying to influence you to to do it without really um thinking as much as you need to or consulting somebody if you need to right sometimes king of swords can be 
uh, someone that we consult who's an expert, who is like something like a lawyer or a um, an accountant, like something like that. Okay, so just just something to keep in mind. And then what's this here? Bread, a period of prosperity and abundance. Like, and you have ten of pentacles. Bada bing, bada boom. I love it. Very interesting for you this week. Pisces, this is what I got for you. I hope that there is something in here that is helpful and helps guide you through the week. Um, just as a little extra, because I feel like being extra today. I'm just going to pull a couple letters. Okay, so H and F, if those initials oop, mean something to you, are important to you in some kind of way, if you're looking for a little confirmation, these are just here for you for that. Okay? So this is what I got. I hope it helps. Uh, lots of love to all of you, and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.